A lot of the approaches in people that we work with are from outside the industry trying to do something new, something inventive, trying to really push the field farther. Um, and being here at the University of Cincinnati, we have access to all that and really can be the ones that drive the field forward. One project that I'm working on is looking at how commensal fungi impact both immunity within the gut and outside of the gut. In our lab, we study eosinophilic esophagitis, which is a TH2 disorder that affects the esophagus. I'm really excited about um, some of the stuff that we're looking at in human placental regulation. So I study neurofibromatosis type 1, and it's a common genetic disorder that causes a number of problems. My project kind of evolved to look specifically at the development of the stomach, and we were actually able to generate the first kind of three-dimensional model of human gastric epithelium from stem cells. Working on these drugs that nobody's looked at before and they're targeting a really um, novel pathway. They provide you with free training so students like me can go there, get trained on how to use a confocal, how to use the software that allows you to analyze and process your information. And I think that's very unique because not a lot of students in other universities have access to cores that are as well equipped. You know, working on this project for my thesis for a couple of years, we were actually able to get accepted into nature because the project was so novel and that nobody had ever generated gastric tissue from stem cells before. So the transgenic core has helped us create a, a mouse line where we have taken a piece of human DNA and inserted it into a mouse to create what we call a humanized transgenic mouse. As we're generating data from the clinical samples, we take it to the bench to try to understand the biology behind it, and then we go back and try to use what we figured out from the bench side to help out these patients. The facilities here are absolutely phenomenal, and I couldn't ask for a better experience working with the people I do. And my mentor is Sing Sing Wei. He's an infectious disease specialist, and he's also an MD-PhD by training. So a lot of the, uh, the trials and tribulations I have to go through, he also went through at one point. I've been lucky to be part of a program that gives us so much contact with the faculty. Even but in our laboratory, we have all sorts of exciting people trying out the latest in uh, imaging technology, and utilizing big data approaches to uh, identify new genes, but our collaborators are also doing exciting things, and there is an amazing amount of uh, crosstalk between all the departments at Children. I've got to meet so many people in my field, I'm very confident when I come out of here that I'm gonna have a good backbone of people I can turn to. My ultimate goal is to pursue a career in academic medicine, to, be, to run my own lab and have people working for me, and being on the, the cutting edge of science.